What's up everyone? Welcome back and thank you for stopping in here to the channel. Today we have an exciting unboxing to do for you guys. This comes from Amazon. I was able to snag one of these out there and get their quick shipping. Uh, this is a more budget-ended slip joint. Uh, I have been kind of looking for some cheaper slip joints. I have some more expensive ones, but uh, I've been pretty interested in getting some cheaper type ones to kind of, not necessarily beat on, but, uh, you know, kind of use a little rougher than I would, you know, my Jack Wolf or my hedgehog things of that nature and this one really caught my eye i've had one of their knives before one or two actually this comes from brother uh they do a pretty damn good job i might even have two of these actually uh but you it comes in little cardboard box and then you get this like canvasy type uh, bag which is really cool I really like this and these are pretty useful as far as I'm concerned you can stash all kinds of stuff in those so this one really caught my eye guys uh, this is a carbon fiber with VG 10 and they're coming in around like 20 to 30 dollars i think I, like right around in that price range we'll get our issuing stitches hank out here and wipe this guy off if you need a new hank or are in the market for a hank check out issuing stitches i will leave a link below to his etsy store he's an awesome dude to support and he has given my channel and the viewers a coupon code capital G ball 10 will get you 10% off your order over there. And that is just awesome coming from Bobby. He's a great dude. The Hanks are already awesomely priced. The prints are great. He's a great dude. And I love supporting him. He's, he's just awesome. So we'll get back to the knife. For between 20 and 30 bucks, you're getting this carbon fiber, which it's pretty well done, guys. Uh, I have tons of different carbon fiber, and this looks pretty good. Uh, I really don't see any inconsistencies with it. I don't see any issues with it. You have their little shield there. And then this is in VG10, which isn't the best deal in the world. But for $20 to $30, that's an awesome steal for the money. I would much rather have VG10 than a bunch of other steals that people are trying to push in the $50 and under market. I absolutely loved this blade shape. I loved how it kind of angled down here. It kind of angles down at the very, very tip there, which is perfect for piercing tasks. And I didn't have quite a worn cliff like this one in a slip joint. I do have, where is it? Let me get it out. I do have this kind of Warncliffe, which is the Ohio River Jack from traditional pocket knives. As you can see there, it's a quite it's quite a bit different. They're, they're quite a bit different. Both still Warncliffe's, but just a little different. And that's what really drew me to this one. The materials are great. I knew Brother made pretty good knives in that price point uh and they do i have i think i might even have three i think i have two i might have three uh i definitely have three now but the quality has always been pretty damn good for the price point the spring seems pretty damn good uh 
I would say it's probably around a six or so. Pretty snappy, pretty stout, nice pops. Every time, every close, open, nice pops. Uh, I absolutely love this little thing. Uh, next up is going to be finding a slip for it or getting a slip for it. I mean, you could use this as a pocket dropper as well. Maybe like in the fifth pocket or what have you. But uh, I just, when I saw this, I was looking for some slip joints on Amazon. And when I saw this, the carbon fiber, the VG10, that blade shape, I was like, yeah, I'm getting in on that. Uh, pretty good back spring, pretty good spring there. Pretty, pretty strong. Uh, definitely not the strongest. But uh, that's pretty good for, I have had, I've had a night, a couple slip joints at this price point, maybe even a little more, that definitely were not as good as this one is. Uh, so pretty impressive coming from Brother. And I believe they have another company called Watchman, and that's why I think I might have an extra one or two. Uh, I think it's the same company, I believe, but I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on that. But I think Watchman and Brother are the same company or sister companies. Uh, but everything I've had for them, from them has been very well done at its price point. Uh, and I think here is another one. Uh, you have a lanyard hole down there at the bottom. The pin construction looks pretty clean. Uh, I don't, feels pretty smooth. I don't see any issues. I don't feel any issues. Uh, nope, no. It feels pretty good. The transition from the bolster to the inlay feels good on both sides. Nice and smooth. Uh, you have a nice consistent back here where the back spring is, uh, pretty good. I, for 25 bucks or whatever, uh, that's pretty good. Uh, I really like this. This is going to be a knife too that I won't be afraid to use it. And if it gets marred up or scratched up or whatever, not a big deal. Uh, I can go out and get another one, and it, it's not going to cost an arm and a leg to go out and get. Uh, you wouldn't want to take your $300 Jack Wolf and, you know, run it through a bunch of crap. Uh, whereas you could get this one out and do it and not feel bad about doing it. Uh, but all in all, guys, I knew this, I, I figured I would really like this one. And I really do. I will drop a link down below for these on Amazon. I believe they are still in stock. It's not like these are, you know, a hot commodity. But uh, they are pretty popular for slip joints across Amazon. Uh, they have a ton of different models of slip joints. They have a bunch of different back locks. I have one of their back locks with... Uh, white pearl uh i believe it is and it, it's very well done uh same goes for this one the walk and talk actually i figured it would be pretty decent but this is even better than i expected it to be uh they oiled it up that way there was no issues in uh it's uh mailing stage you know or it's storage stage uh, i nipped myself there with the tip of it so it's definitely sharp should we go ahead and just cut something with it real quick other than my finger anyway uh i'm no stranger to cutting myself but we are almost done so no big deal 
Actually, if you remember the first hedgehog video I ever did, I really cut myself with that thing. This is damn sharp, guys. Holy mackerel. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. This thing is sharp. Really sharp. That's awesome. It came with a wonderful edge. Wonderful edge. That's great. I love it when I can get a 25 or $30 knife and the materials are great. The uh, craftsmanship of it is great. It comes with a good edge on it, all for under 30 bucks. I mean, what more could you ask for for a $30 slip joint? Uh, man, I, I'll be probably snagging another one of these. Not this version, but I will probably be getting another slip joint from Brother. Uh, we'll see what blade shapes, materials they have. They do use a lot of VG10, but like I said, at that price, it's not a $70, $80 knife where VG10 doesn't shine so brightly. Uh, but under 30 bucks, under 40 bucks, I will take the VG10 all day long. Uh, just, just a great knife. Comes with a great edge on it. I can't say enough good things about this. I'm happy with the 20 to 25 bucks that I spent on it. Uh, like I said, I will link it down below. And I will try to find the other videos of the other brothers, and I will put them up here in the corner. Uh, otherwise, guys, that will do it for this one. Expect a full overview of this guy coming up shortly. And I will also be doing a short-term review on it eventually here. Uh, man, I'm going to be taking this one with me as well as my new nightshade uh absolutely am loving this thing this is incredible i bought both of these for i think right around a hundred bucks and that is an awesome little combo there for a hundred bucks uh you get a main main carry here primary carry here and then you have a nice slip joint backup for your secondary uh, just a great little combo in my opinion very very nice all right guys that will do it otherwise I will just keep rambling and rambling uh, if you're still here thank you I love you for watching the whole video guys I really appreciate it if you're still here and you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button down below hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys, interacting with you guys. It's a great time down in the comment section. I welcome you to comment down there, whatever your little heart desires. Otherwise, guys, have a good night, have a safe night, and I will catch you on the next one. Later.